Thanks for joining me for another Outlaw Pulpit. It is September 1st. Can you believe it? It's uh, the day that my kids go back to school and it's just, uh, it's a good day. (laughs) But anyways, I'm so glad you could join me. And uh, again, if you want to visit my website, you can go to outlawpulpit.com and you can find past videos and different things like that. Uh, Also, a merch store there uh, is coming soon to that website, so be sure to watch for that. You can buy t-shirts and things like that. Um, But I'm in a series right now, and I'm uh, calling it Confessions of a Pastor, Uh, 16 Things I've Learned Over the Past 16 Years uh, Being a Pastor of a Church. And uh, the church I pastor right here is on the screen, Radiant Fellowship. It's in Wapaka, Wisconsin. And, uh, you know, this last August... um, Two, a couple days ago, celebrated 16 years of being the pastor there, and it's been good, but I've uh, really wrote down a lot of things on stuff I've learned along the way that I want to share with you, and so uh, here we are um, with uh, another week of this, and I wanted to share with you one key thing that pastors and people that attend a church need to understand, and that is this, wrong things will be said. It's true. <laughs> it's true. Um, if, if you have a friend, if you have a dear friend, if you have, um, well, if you have uh, a place that you like to go or you're part of a church or whatever the case may be, um, it's just a matter of time until something wrong is going to be said. And then you decide if you're going to be friends or not, if you're going to remain in that church or not, and um, all sorts of stuff like that. So here's the deal. I think personally that churches should, and I'm going to go one step further, and friends should, a friend should have a sign around their neck and a church should have a placard up on their wall saying, thanks for being a part of this church or thank you for being my friend, I'm sorry. And, and that that's it. And just say, I'm sorry right away because when you're around people long enough, you will offend them. You will get them upset. And so, yeah, there, there will be a point where you're going to say something wrong. It's like the analogy I used last week that you could take two best friends, and I've seen this play out in my own life. You can take two best friends and put them together. They get all excited and, and, and super anxious to be roommates in college. And then by the end of that first year, they're not friends anymore. I've seen this play out many, many times. I'm not saying it can't happen, but I've seen it happen plenty of times. And so wrong things will be said. Um, you know, welcome to church. This is the church world we live in. And welcome to friendships. This is what happens. Um, I can think of times with some of my best friends. Something was said. Something was taken wrong. And so this is going to happen. Um you know, there, there's a thing in churches, and I don't like to use the term life, life groups, okay? D- doing life together, you know, that sort of thing. But in that, if we're going to do life together, and how's that for churchy lingo, um, things will be said. Um, and and it, the, one of the most profound points I can make and suggest to any pastor out there, um, any lay leader, uh, any staff pastor out there is learn to apologize. There you go. That's the deep, profound thought for the day. Learn to apologize because it's just a matter of time that you're going to say something wrong. And it may not even mean to come out that way, but that's how it was perceived. And so we learn to apologize. Sadly, in some cases, those that consider themselves faithful churchgoers by attending once a month at best, they're the ones that will leave saying, that was my church. And, you know, the thing is, it's tough on a pastor and it has got to be difficult on the family when a person considers themselves a faithful churchgoer and the pastor can't remember their name, the kids' names, vice versa, or or of their faithful church attendance. And so sometimes even through those scenarios, we'll say something that, ah, it came out the wrong way and you didn't mean it. But at this point, Here's where I would go. At this point, learn to say I'm sorry, even if you're not necessarily sorry, <laughs> okay? I gave you a scenario that in in the U.S. at least, an average church attender considers themselves part of a church at two visits per month. That doesn't even necessarily mean a Sunday morning service, just two visits, visits a month. 
for a pastor, that can be kind of hard to get to know them and understand them and understand their life events and stuff like that. And so you may see, you may have something slip between the cracks. You may not realize they're going through something. You may not realize their kids' names because they only come around a couple times. And and they're going to take that as you said a, you said something wrong. You didn't remember my kids' names. You didn't remember that I was going through this. Again, learn to apologize. That's the best thing we can do. And that's good advice for friendships too. You will say wrong things and, and that's just how it goes. Listen, I've been at this church for 16 years. Do I, am I naive enough to think that every Sunday, every Wednesday, every other social gathering outreach event that I do, I'm going to say everything spot on and understand um, You know that I will never say anything wrong? No. No, absolutely not. Most Sundays I come in a very good mood, but there are some Sundays where I'm a little stressed out. I have things going on, and I know that never happens at your job, <laughs> okay? But and and when that time comes, something may be said that was wrong. So pastors, staff pastors, lay leaders, deacon board, elders, whatever the case may be, learn to apologize. I've put my foot in my mouth plenty of times over the years, and I'm guessing I'll probably do it again, but I learned to get the foot out of my mouth and say, I'm sorry. It's up to that person what they're going to do with that apology. It's out of your control, but you have done your part to say, I apologize, because once again, wrong things will be said. All right, shoot me your thoughts, your questions, outlawpulpit at gmail.com. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Have an awesome week.